So I just got back from a hiking trip with a friend of mine and I got back a ton of materials to make my first ever terrarium. Wish me luck. Hi, this is A Gamer's Wife, where on my channel I like to talk about my secret life as a, you guessed it, gamer's wife, and my current hobby of freshwater aquariums. That's kind of where this story started. I was actually researching aquarium plants on the H2O Plants YouTube channel, and then I saw he had this guest speaker, Tanner from Serpa Design, where he was making a terrarium. Fast forward the rabbit hole trail down to his channel. I saw one of his latest videos was how to make a terrarium for free using elements from nature. So let's take a look at my haul from today's hiking trip. So my haul includes soil from the natural environment of the plants that I collected, some hardscape elements such as bark and twigs and rocks, as well as a bunch of plants and lichens. We've got mosses, not sure what that is. Uh, yeah, let's see what I can make out of it. Unlike Tanner, my project won't be entirely free because, well, the spaghetti container I was gonna use is plastic and has a bunch of indentations in it. So on the way back, I went to a thrift store and picked up this nice looking jar. I'm also cheating a little bit because since I was with a friend, I didn't have time to stop and get some pea-sized stones or gravel. Luckily, I have some EcoComplete laying around. It's inert and I'm just gonna rinse it off so none of that excess liquid is in it. There needs to be a barrier to separate the soil from the gravel at the bottom so that the soil won't turn to mud. So following Tanner's directions, I made one from a plastic bag. Five hours later. Definitely a lot easier to buy that screen mesh than do it yourself, but hey, it's done, it's free basically, and let's move on to building the terrarium. Final cost analysis. I wasn't able to go completely free because of the spaghetti sauce fiasco, but hey, it was only $5. So worst to worst, if this terrarium experiment totally fails, I'm okay with chucking the whole thing. Okay, let's do this super fast. First off, we've got our gravel. That looks about right. Add our nifty dipty mesh. Now we're gonna weigh it down with a few rocks. And now time for the soil. Okay, there's definitely a lot more bark and debris in there than I had planned, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it. <laughs> I forgot to look for tiny decorations like Tanner's acorns and dried vines, so my hardscape is mostly wood and rocks. But at least I had a ton of plants and lichen with different colors and textures. I'm gonna spare you from watching me position and reposition everything 30 times over. Okay, after a bunch of finagling, I think I'm happy with it. It doesn't have as much uh, dynamic angles or height as I'd hope, but hey, you deal with it. Let's take a closer look. I have a little bit of collectoritis going on for sure. I pretty much stuffed as many mosses and different plants as I could. Uh, the mosses were much higher than the soil, so I actually had to put a few pebbles underneath that rock, that bigger rock in the middle to make it stick up. But other than that, I think I'm pretty happy. It's definitely gonna be a first for me. Check out Serpa Design's tutorial linked below and let me know in the comments if you've ever made a closed terrarium and how long it lasted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.